I'm back with another video and before we start please like and subscribe to the channel that's been a huge help and you guys have been awesome about that but today's video is going to be something a little bit different just a, a little bit of theory and my views on offensive organization and the same goes for defensive organization but we're going to be talking about the transformation periods in, in between each third of the field when the team is in possession so we'll be looking through the lens of the team with the ball and the transformations the structure and the team's goals and what they go through as they enter different thirds of the field so I'm gonna pick up where I left off yesterday kind of implementing a 3-5-2 situation because it does show some really good transformations through the thirds and it just is really coherent with the topic of the video and this is something that I just like to talk about or I like to think about in my head as I'm analyzing a game or watching a match and these are the what I call the transformation periods in the game because as we know the regular model um, of the phases of play offense defense offensive transition defensive transition um, it's a pretty basic model but within each phase there's not much room um, or there's no diagrams no sequences that it talks about for discussion or to describe the elements of these phases so in the offensive organization as we have it here this first build-up phase will then enter the midfield third at one point so let me just highlight the area related to the first progression and so this first progression is most of the time um, looking to expand and exploit the space that's available because of the opponent's high block so from here it's expansive and it's the goal is to exploit space and find the advantage numerically and that's the common approach obviously there's many others and you can use it however which way you want so once we do that we'll just move into the midfield third and that's where the term progressive transformation so I titled it progressive transformation um, just to give it a, a, a deliberate name so why I chose progressive transformation as I will highlight so you know what I'm talking about so this is the first progression of the team's buildup. So here we have it in the box, progressive transformation. Just highlighted it, moving up the field. So it's our first progressive progression. So that's why I titled it progressive transformation. Pretty self-explanatory. And there are there is one more progression in the sequence but that goes into the finishing phase. So that's why I titled that the finishing transformation. So now, once I set the defense up, and we can look at this through the eyes of the defense in another video. I don't want to make it too long for everybody. But, so now, we have our team dropping into a mid block, a 4-3-3. And so now, the progressive transformation the transformation piece comes here when the team establishes possession in the midfield third their shape can change so what I mean by this is we're no longer using the goalkeeper so if I move the players forward we have two strikers we have an advanced interior attacking midfielder and another one on the opposite side then this is where our tra our first transformation will come. So maybe we go with a single pivot against a 4-3-3. And then now we rotate to form a back three. And now our wing backs can move higher up the field. So usually when you move through the thirds of the field, your shape will change just because of the differences in structure. So now, the second transformation that will happen is against three attacking or three pressing players or three players in the first line of the defensive shape we can go to a double pivot to put two players on either side of the nine to put them between 
the defensive structure. So what this will do, it will free up a half space. And now we can play with more of a, um, a flexible or fluid um, forward too. So now one player can be responsible for pinning and one player for dropping. And so this will elicit um, these type of movements back into the half spaces while the width is still being controlled by the wing back. So these little shapes and movements, structural transformations, um, are just little things to think about. I didn't want to use the term transition because that's widely accepted as losing possession or regaining possession. So I didn't want to go with that. So I took transformation and I used that. And so now our finishing transformation. Now it's pretty self-explanatory why I picked the term because the end goal in this is to create chances and score. So that's pretty much the logic behind there. And our defense, we'll see our transformation from our defense now, a structural transformation at least, and to a 4-5-1. So now, now we can look at the transformation from our offensive team. So we're going to do, our wingers will now become wide players. And I'm just gonna highlight transformation just so it's super clear. So now our wingers will become wide and our, our previous double pivot will move higher into the half spaces. And now we'll play with two central defenders in either half space. And now the roles of our fullbacks will become more narrow to have a more uh, a tighter circulation and rest defense structure so and then the goal of this phase is obviously scoring goals creating chances and controlling play in the offensive half and now without going into too much detail and just getting through them all I'm going to talk about the consolidation transformation and that's when the team goes back into the midfield third and has to reestablish possession. Maybe the low block was effectively able to press the team and pin them back and force them to play in the area of depth. And this will then elicit a rotation from the offensive team back into their midfield structure. And as I just sort that out very quickly, we will see how the shape changes back into its previous structure to then carry out the goals of that phase in that structure. So here we are, just moving the pieces just a little bit, just so we can see the structural changes from the phases or the transformations, I should say. And we have, let me see if I can get this right, we have our two forwards that will then enter into the half spaces. So we almost play with an asymmetric midfield shape, um, depending on the movement. Obviously there's a lot of fluidity, rotations, movement, concepts to be carried out in each of these thirds. But I'm just showing you the general idea, the base structures and how they changed in a positional play, more of a positional play model to carry out the goals of each phase. And now in the, I labeled this last phase, the attracting transformation, because usually playing into an area of depth like your goalkeeper, now this means that you're looking to attract the press or gain stability and now by attracting the press, you need a very uh, tight, uh, you need your players to essentially be as close together as possible while still taking up the maximum amount of space to be able to exploit. So the attracting transformation, playing into a position of depth, and now we can look at the shape it creates for us and 
then now we will be back where we started in a whole cycle. I could write a little article about this um, in a little more detail, use more diagrams, maybe even a case study uh, if people will be interested in that. It depends. Let me know in the comment section below. But and now we're back where we started in terms of structure, but how we got there through the transformations are much different. So just another really quick video today. Just wanted to introduce this idea of transformation, see how it came across, see what, what everybody thinks about it, and um, would really be open to a discussion in the comments section below. I'll try and answer everybody. I probably will answer everybody. I'm pretty good about that. And um, just let me know what you think. If you like it, if you hate it, doesn't matter. Um, everyone has their own opinion. So let me know. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. And I'll see you in the next one.